All right, and we are back. Give me a motorcycle. We are back with another Vice City video. Grand Theft Auto Vice City video. I, I can't just say Vice City because one day people might just start calling. Well, no, they're never. I don't think anyone's ever going to call GTA 6 just Vice City. I think they're just going to call it GT, GTA 6. I think this being called Vice City is actually going to have this one just be called Vice City, so I don't know why I did that. And as I said in the previous video, uh, they do play licensed music sometimes during cutscenes, especially if it does involve rich people or just anybody in the room. So if you do see a cut, it's because that there is licensed music and I don't want my video getting stricken out of other countries because of licensed music. If not, I'll try my best to give it a recap if possible. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz. Oh, wow. Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Okay. All right, so I don't know how important Diaz is from the beginning of the story to now. Um, I, I, I could only imagine. I, I, I have a very hard time paying attention. In the last video, I was changing some French guy uh, for some chips, uh, some guidance chips. And I think that's what we have talked about in America in terms of politics. I think Kamala's talked about uh, the chip program or making sure that chips are more affordable. Or I don't know. I don't really know much about chips. All I know is they're important. But the guys that were shooting at me weren't cops, and that's why I didn't have any stars on me. The cops that were shooting at me were uh, government officials from France. I did not know that. And it's most, mostly because of the fact that I was kind of distracted. Ooh, let's get a suit real quick. There we go. And so this Diaz guy, I'm assuming that I'm going to get a little bit more context on this Diaz guy. Uh, I don't think he's important just yet in terms of who he is. I think he's important specifically on the fact that he's going to be a part of this deal. All right, I'm going to try my best to try. I'm going to try my best to, to keep up with the story. I will try my best. I'm not smart. So give me be patient with me. OK. What? Vance? Do something other than just shadowing me everywhere. Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Show me your life. Oh, Lance. I've been calling him Vance. <laughs> All right, cool. Why are you here? No, man. I I'm sorry. I just Lance doesn't come off as someone who's just friendly. He comes off as an opportunist. You know what I mean? Like, again, people in this, people who do shady shit like this don't always just have your best interest in mind. I mean, he says we're after the same thing when we first met, but it's like, I don't know who you are and why you feel that way. Again, basically, he hasn't really given me a reason to trust him. He's just been doing a bunch of weird shit. The only thing he's done is give me a pistol. Okay, and I appreciate the pistol. But how are you supposed to know I was going to be in that alleyway at that time? Who told you? How did you know? Why are you shadowing me? Who told you to shadow me? Why isn't Tommy Versetti looking more into this? Then again, I don't know. Maybe he did ask a question. He did ask a question and Vance did answer. So, well, Lance did answer. Just wasn't really the answer I was looking for. It makes me comfortable, but enough for Tommy Versetti to be comfortable and good enough for him. Yeah, it's that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know him. He was on the boat. You must be Coltese's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Okay. Well, I like the animation that he does when he runs. That's not the one that they use in um, uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. Okay. I mean, I know this is going to go bad. Oh no, this targeting system. What, what the hell? The Haitians? Oh, 
What are Haitians doing here? Is this, is, are, I mean, Haitians is a race. It's not a gang. What? What? What gang are they a part of? What do you mean, Tommy? Damn, Tommy! Damn! Put, pull up your gun and and squeeze that trigger, Jesus, Lance! How the fuck are you gonna hand me a gun and have a dude right in front of you popping you full of holes and like, help me, Tommy? Dude, are you dumb or are you stupid? And believe me, I would know. I'm one of the dummies. I'm very, I'm hella stupid. But that is just some shit right there. Here, I'm gonna come down here and pick these up. Oh, oh, okay. What the hell? Are they gonna take the briefcase? While on the bike? No! No! What did you? Up on the. That's mine! Oh, I love this submachine gun. Look at that. That's a sexy submachine gun. I don't think it's fair to just call them Haitians. What gang are they a part of? Haitian is not a gang. It's like, here comes the black people. It's like, that doesn't. The African Americans are here. It's like, that's not a gang. Got the money, though. Hell yeah, man. Damn. Like I said before, this game is a whole lot more um, relevant today than I thought. If, the date is October 16th, 2024, and we just came off of a huge presidential debate where there is a conspiracy theory about Haitian people in Oklahoma, Springfield, Oklahoma? Eating cats and dogs off the street. Well, people's owned cats and dogs. I, I, I live. And here they are here in this game. So name? many, so many years I later. Soon, amigo, I think. All right, I see you, man. I'm trying to see where I've seen that Shit. dude Where's before. That's all I wanted. I just wanted the jingle, man. I just want the jingle when I'm done with a mission. It feels so much better to defeat a mission and you get the jingle. It just feels so much better. But yeah, this game is a whole lot more relevant, man, with hurricanes coming through, which again, as once again, I say my heart goes out to everyone who's um, being affected by Hurricane Milton. And then again, also, my heart goes off to all the Haitian immigrants um, that are, is it migrants or is it immigrants? I don't know which one it is, who are being uh, targeted by racist people who don't know how to do their research. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Thick heads. Thick heads yo. Make you oh, she big, big. Rich. All right, man, I got you. Got you, Mr. Diaz. Sorry, I like big girls, okay? Fuck y'all. I know what I like. But anyway, but yeah, my heart goes out to all the Haitians who are experiencing uh, forms of racism for a maniac and his cronies spreading lies just straight up lies and having to deal with racist people coming in and 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 oh making your lives harder uh, my heart goes out to you guys too i am so sorry but again right now vice city has been one of the most relevant games it's like when i played perfect dark and uh there was uh, a few missions in that game i was playing it back in 2000 i think 2000, I think 16, 2017, 16. I think I was playing in 2016, uh, before uh, Donald Trump got into office. And the game sports uh, a black president, which I thought was really cool. Uh, but not just that, but uh, there was a part where you had to uh, raid Area 51 <laughs> as a secret agent. So I thought that that also tickled me too. Uh, but I was playing it back when that was a big thing. I know you guys remember it raiding Area 51. I remember, well, that, I don't. I don't think you raided Area 51 in that game. Well, this man's a big ass house, but you did uh, have to go there. And so I just thought those two things were very, 
uh, big. And then I think that was also when Anita Sharkeesian was big. So, you know, the whole female protagonist leads in video games are like nonsense and you shouldn't want that and whatever else have you. And she was saying that you should, no matter how bad the story is or whatever the fuck that was. So that was something else too. So having a female protagonist, a uh, black dude in office and the Area 51 uh, raid uh, or infiltration was always nice and perfect dark. And now I'm playing Vice City and it's pretty much the same exact thing. It's extremely relevant for when I'm playing it. You good? I'll chop your head off. Who is this dickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse. You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, you. Amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up. Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is going to be easy. Okay. All right. I do like that you work for me, I work for money. You work for me, I work- Shut up! <laughs> hey, look, I'm making it very clear. Tommy's making it very clear that this is a transactional process and this is, if anything, we're on a contractual- I'm on, I'm on a contractual obligation. So as long as I'm paid, we fine. I do love the submachine gun I have, though. It's so cool. It looks so cool. I love the submachine gun. Man, I wonder what else is gonna happen in this game. I wonder what other relevance- <laughs> And again, this game came out at what? What what year did this game come out? A little bit after Grand Theft Auto 3, and I think Grand Theft Auto 3 came out in 2003, so this should be a 2004 game, because it didn't take Rockstar long to make their games, because they pretty much used the same engine. And this is back before gamers said, oh my god, you look exactly, it's just an asset flip. Dude, back when Fallout 3 and New Vegas could exist in the same right, and people would still appreciate those games and not call them asset flips and, and, and just disregard hard work with voice acting and mission structure and improving upon a, a, a certain, um, what's what I'm looking for, in game engine, but whatever. But yeah, that's why it doesn't take too much longer to make games, because you're not using the same engine. Oh, shit! Hey, what's up, dude? What's up? This is the Judas guy. Whoa! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, where'd he go? Holy shit, this man's gone. Whoa! Tuck and roll, baby, tuck and roll. He's up there. Shit. You can't get that far from me. You can't get that far. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm gonna get back up there. Is he gonna jump on the scooter? Is he gonna jump on the scooter? He's not coming down. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Gotta go back up. Gotta go back up. Hold on. Where is he? Where is he? He's up there. Hold on. We're gonna get him. Tommy, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him, Tommy. Why did I jump down, dude? Why did I jump down thinking I had to ninja roll to find my target? Oh, lordy lord. Okay, we we back. We're back. We actually felt the mission when we were trying to look for him, but we know what we're doing now. We know how to catch this guy. Oh, he doesn't shoot at me. Okay, do I have to jump? Okay, no, no, I don't have to jump. Yeah, remember that scene in the Matrix when uh, Trina was being chased by the agent in the very beginning? Ooh, gotta go this way maybe? Yes. There's a trash can and the scooter. Oh, he's not taking that. Oh. Oh, okay. They want me to grab these. Okay, well, that makes sense. Oh, the whole stand-up animation was come was from Vice City and not San Andres either. Okay. So it looks like a lot was built off of San Andres. I mean, built off of Vice City. I see why people love this game so much. It was the one that kind of, like, laid the groundwork. Damn. This man is extremely smart. This is a very smart AI. Holy shit. He just jumped out of a fucking burning vehicle and just jumped into the next one. He really doesn't want to get caught.
Yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up. Well, I mean, this isn't really fair. He jumped into a fucking sports car. I just realized that. Dude, what? He just jumped into a fucking sports car. Oh, he, ha he has to come back around the other side. Did I, did I, did I just, did I lose? Did, I know, I know it's that mission passed, but it feels like I, I feels like I lost that. I don't know how to feel about that. That doesn't feel like a victory. I didn't necessarily get him. And my scooter is gone. Why is my scooter gone too? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, we're back. I'm still confused. Uh, man, you know what I should have done during the cut? I should have went enough to go save it. Uh, I don't think this mission is going to bug out on me. Here's here's to my laziness for not wanting to drive an extra, you know, five to ten minutes to go save real quick. Oh, man, autosave. It's, I'm so spoiled by autosaves now. I'm so spoiled. GTA 4 has both auto save and it has a uh, normal save. GTA 5 is the fucking GTA 4 is the fucking goat. It definitely is. Okay. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Uh, yeah, you told that phone. Tommy. What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? Wait, hold on. So, Lance what are you works doing here. Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. Oh, he I'll iced your Diaz. brother. He's beginning oh. to trust me. Oh, Lance's. I keep on calling him Vance. Lance's brother was shot during that deal. One thing costing me. Is that what he was saying? Or was it? What? Okay. I'm gonna go relook at the cutscene. I don't know if he said he shot at my brother or he shot at me, brother. I don't know which one it was. We're actually in a helicopter. That's fucking crazy. And then they have them passing by? Dude. Okay, so we have a heavy machine gun in our hands right now. Oh, is that the place? This is the place. Dude, I'm really not getting the story the way I should. I'm really not. I know this is some heavy shit. The guy actually that I was chasing actually came here. This is the Judas guy that was trying to take over, trying to double cross the guy that I'm currently working for contractually. And so Lance Vance, so I knew I wasn't crazy, is somehow directly tied not necessarily directly tied to this guy but has something to do with him he wants to get his revenge i guess so he's working for the short guy i'm aiming with the left stick not the right stick forgive me my left stick aiming capabilities i'm not really used to i'm used to aiming with the right stick that's where all of this dexterity went Hell yeah. There we go. Alright, drop me off, man. I'm hoping to get more context, man. I feel like I'm not getting this right. I feel like I'm not getting the story right. 
I'm don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna look back. I'm gonna look back and if I if there's any uh updates that I have about the store whenever I do start the next video, because I am gonna look at some of these cutscenes over again, I'll be sure to update you guys with the new information that I have. The hell? I don't know if he said he he sh Also in GTA 3 you don't even get to even look at a helicopter, honestly. Let alone get in one. The only time you see helicopters is if the cops, if you get three stars with the cops, and that's it. There we go. All the only thing that SMG did I like, because Tommy Versetti holds it with two hands, not with one. It looks like some of these guys are holding it with one hand. All right. Yeah, man. If I would have killed Homeboy, would I have had to do this mission, or was he invincible? I'm definitely not using that these bullets just yet. Alright. And I'm not using this one either because I don't have this access to these weapons. I'm gonna wait for me to actually be in a worse spot. Yeah, I, I, I run in with no ammo. I mean not armor well no armor. That's me. Hell yeah. I'm scared. Here we go. Oh. Got it. Where's homeboy? Oh, wait. Did he lead me back to them? I think he led me back to a safe house, and now we're going to go uh, take it out. Take out and get the stuff back, I guess. Maybe that was the thing. I suck with context, man. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it together. Things are happening and being said so fast. Don't you, don't you, don't you dare, video game. Don't you dare stop on me. Storm running over. All bridges to the mainland are now open. Ooh. Do I have an overall map now? Does this game support that? <gasps> it does. It does. The mainland. So which one's the mainland? So is it the stuff that's up? Okay. So I'm assuming it's the stuff all on the left side here. Because my house is on the right side. Okay. All right. We're here. Let's go and save it. And then we can come back and start the next mission up. I'm so ready, dude. I'm so ready for this. Programming to inform you all bridges in the oh. city metropolitan area have been reopened. Hurricane Hermione has not hit the city. Sorry for any inconvenience. We thank you for your patience. Now, back to the show. Okay. Okay, we are back after the cut. We're saved. And when we do save, we get our health back. So we got that going for us, too. We got two new weapons they allowed us to keep. And we're ready to start this next mission once we answer the phone. Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cortez. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? Oh, what's up, dude? What's wrong? What's, why does Cortez need my help? The fastest boat. That's so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wait, wait, waving that thing. <laughs> no more pigeon shit on my car, hey, Tommy! Guess not. <laughs> You're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Mm. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy... I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you. Where'd you come from? I think your ah. pigeons are back. Okay. Go to the boat and see the fastest boat. Okay, so this is um I don't mean to disrespect. I really don't mean to disrespect this mission. It's not I don't mean to, but again, Colonel Cortez wants my help again. So I assume that that's where the main missions are kind of being. I think this is one of those filler missions. That's why we're not doing uh, Mr. Tex Avery over there uh, next to this guy, actually. Because, again, I don't want to do any of the filler missions. I kind of want to do... Okay, not like I don't want to do them. But I want to keep the story going as strong as I possibly can. I know Cortez can really help me out. And so uh, once we get done with this mission, I'm going to go back to Cortez and see what I can do. I'd rather... I would rather keep the story moving so I don't really forget anything. Plus, I think just for video reasons, I think it's just better for me to do it that way. 
So I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Okay, we are back with a, with the mission. Uh, it looks like I'm saying we're back, like we're starting a new video. So I'm doing a lot of running around. Behind the scenes, you guys just see the cut. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, forgive me. Let's get this mission started. Let's see what Cortez wants. Sir, yes, yes sir. Yes, I was pleased. I would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Okay. Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes Whoa. you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me, and once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... And then what? Rockstar? What do you want me to do then? Why does he want the military hardware being taken through town? What is, how does this help anyone but him? Well, I'm getting paid. No, Jasper, don't get a motorcycle. You know you cannot drive a motorcycle, man. I suck at driving. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna, you know what? You know what? Oh, the dropkick animation, too, that's there, that CJ does. That was also from Vice City. Wow. Vice City has a lot of things going for it, man. This game is really promising, man. I see why people are really, really crazy about Vice City. I see. Also, isn't this like Rockstar's second in terms of the 3D Grand Theft Auto world? Isn't like this isn't isn't this like their, their second time having a uh, Italian protagonist? I mean, I get it, mob mafia and things like that, but it's like I think this is like the the second se the second time I've seen this. Wait, are we now in Vice City or what? I wasn't reading. It. Plus, it's I don't know how to recursive that well. That could have um, that could have killed me. I don't know if Tommy Bieber said he can can swim. I don't know. I know CJ can. I don't know if Tommy can swim. I don't want to test that. What? And they're all staring at me. Look. What am I supposed to? There's so many people. What am I supposed to do? Do I just open blast? Dude, they're gonna shoot me. Here, maybe I can do this. Nah, dude. Hold on. I just can't go head first into this, right? How am I supposed to do? I got armor. All right, here we go. Back up and roll, back up and roll, back up and roll, back up and roll, back up and roll. Back up and roll. Okay, hold on. Greedy, want ammo. Okay. I think there should be so much, so many more people on me. Um... Why doesn't the cops care that I'm shooting military personnel in the street? People really don't care about the military, man. Damn. This game is like super relevant, dude. Uh, okay, just to make it clear, I do care about the military. I just know there's consistency that some people don't care about the military. <laughs> I do, and I really, I, I really want to support the vets. I do believe that anyone who's fought for this country should be able to not have to work another fucking day in their lives. I'm gonna be honest with you. So how do I lose these guys out? Hmm. Hmm. Chainsaw? No? Damn, what the fuck, dude? What? Oh, you're good, man. I'll, I'll let you go. 
I'm, I'm only kill who's necessary. All right. Vehicle self-destruct. Can I call homeboy now, please? Can I call him, please? They threw things down in the road. You saw the spikes, right? Do, do they not? Silly rabbit. Tanks don't have wheels. Also, I could have sworn. Can't you drop this same tank in GTA 3 if you put in a cheat code? I think this is the same tank model, too. I'm glad these guys didn't get too far from the destination, man. Shit. Move! No way! No! No, not a bench, dude! Not a bench! No! Not a bench! Dude, a bench stopped me? No! I'm almost out. Hold on. Hold on. I can get out. I can get off of this. I can get off of this. I can get off of this. We got the tank. We're back. We got. We, oh, we got the tank, and I'm scared. Oh, well, we're much closer than we used to be. Here, we're gonna go ahead and take this alleyway. Move. We're gonna take this alleyway here. Hopefully, we can fit. Hell yeah. Okay. See, why didn't we just do this at first? Oh lord. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're gonna go ahead and head this way, and we're gonna go. We're gonna take the long way around. I was gonna go up the ramp, but I don't want to flip over. Dude, you hear a tank burling down the street. Okay, we made it. Damn, dude. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You said call you as soon as I get it, and then. And then, dude, you said and then. What else is, what else is, a, is a Tommy Versetti to do? Maybe he's gonna give me a phone call. All right, well, as I go home and go save it, I'm gonna go ahead and see if he's gonna give me a phone call, and if he does, we'll, you know, well, that's gonna be the next thing we're gonna do. All right, we sat at home for a little bit. We already saved it, and it looks like there's not gonna be any phone calls, so we have to wait for him to wanna get back to us on that mission. Uh, but we are pretty much good now. We hit our, we hit our 30 minute mark, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Vice City. I am having a blast playing it, all things considered. So far, it's really fun. Um, if you guys did enjoy, do other things to show that you guys did enjoy. And you guys have a good rest of your day or night, depending on what side of the world you guys are on.